Sailor Sloop. Have you ever wanted to do something different? Angie and I have had sailing adventures around the world. However, this time, Sailor, my mini Aussie, and I are taking Galactica on an adventure on the American Great Loop. Angie and Miss Juno dropped us off at Michigan City where we launched Galactica to begin our travels. Click subscribe and follow along as we journey down the Midwestern rivers, meeting new people, making friends with fellow loopers, exploring different places, and learning to navigate the locks and avoid those barges. The final goal in one or two segments is to make it to Pirate's Cove Marina in Josephine, Alabama, where they make the absolute best bushwhackers we've ever found. But it's the journey that is so much fun. Hi guys and gals, welcome to episode 8. We had left Peoria's Boat Club Marina on our way to Quiver Island for an overnight anchorage. We had cast off relatively early so that I'd have time to step Galactica's mask and walk sailor on the island. To travel is to take a journey into yourself. Danny Kay. Leave a comment if you know who Danny Kay was. If I said, the pellet with the poison is in the vessel with the pestle, the flagon with the dragon has the brew which is true, and you recognize that, then you know. Yes, I'm a nerd. If you are staying in Peoria for a couple days, there's plenty to do. The Dome Planetarium is near the city dock on the landing. There's also the massive Caterpillar Equipment Museum. There's events at the landing on the riverfront. There's Segway and bike tours, hiking trails, museums, and more. In 1858, Peoria hosted one of the early debates between Abraham Lincoln and Stephen Douglas, propelling Lincoln to a national prominence. The rains from Tropical Storm Francine were light while we were at the marina. Things were looking up. I finally figured out Galactica's optimal river cruising configuration, raising her economy from a measly 3.54 miles per gallon guzzle to a comfortable 10.3 miles per gallon. I still have some electrical gremlins crawling around, and I have to jump the engine every morning. Shore power hasn't been charging the batteries, and the automatic combiner is running everything off the house batteries. But that's life, and that's the spice that keeps the journey very interesting. After passing Peoria, the first destination is the Peoria Lock and Dam at mile marker 158. Here we'll lock down port side on the left downriver bank. Hi there. <laughs> Mr. Wigglebottom's there. Sailor's said he's going to be up here. So here, um, it's like the lock that was in Chicago, the first lock. And, um, I'm just hanging on to a line. They don't have bollards on this one, so everyone's different. This is Peoria Lock and Dam, so we get out of here, then we're heading down to Havana, which is where the Quiver Island is. All right. Well, 
listen to the radio. Adios. Just drop down through the Peoria Lock and Dam. As soon as we get out of here, I can speed up enough to let out the painter on higher puppets and get back up to speed. So Sailor climbed up on midship with me the whole ride down. It was just that uh, there's no bollocks here, so we just held on to a line. My hands were full, so I couldn't really film it, and I don't have my GoPro set up yet. With Quiver Island at mile marker 121, the journey for this day will be about 45 miles at 5.5 knots. If you've ever wondered about Galactica's navigation aids, I have a Hummingbird depth and fish finder. The Garmin Echo Map chart plotter has US waterways charts. On my phone, I switch between Boat Finder for AIS and AGLCA's Nebo for tracking and identifying loopers nearby. Additionally, I keep a handheld VHS radio at the helm. Plus, I use an iPad with Navionics for plotting our daily sail plans. Angie and I spend many weekends sailing Mark Twain Lake. As Sailor and I journey down this river, it's really fun to see what the locals here do for water-related relaxation from summer cottages to campers. Head downriver past Quiver Island and a sandbar that's off the southern tip of the island before turning the port and heading up into the anchorage. This is Quiver Island. We're going to go on the back side. So we go downriver of it, turn around the cannon, you know, the nun, and then come back up on the other side. We're on Quiver Island.
That's the Havana coal dock there. It's pretty much derelict now, but it's still private property. And unfortunately, the nicer shore is over on that side. But we'll clean up our feet before we get on the boat. Sailor and I are kicking back and chilling right now. Um, we're anchored behind or, or on the east side of um, Quiver Island. <clears throat> I need to drink something. I'm thirsty. Hi, buddy. Hi, oh, boy. So I need to go and check the charts, see what our, our float plan is tomorrow. Um, I've got it all laid out already in Navionics. I just got to pull up the next leg. <clears throat> Sunny. So Sailor and I are kicked back. Um, we're on the anchored on the east side of Quiver Island, and it's about time to go ahead and make dinner. I don't want to be making dinner in the dark. Um, I'm on power conservation mode right now. So tomorrow's float plan, I'll, I'll go look at on Navionics. I've got it all laid out already, and see whether I have to leave early or, or I can leave seven or eight. If it's the long day, the 54 mile day, then I'll be leaving like 6, 6.30. But have a good one. Sailor and I were kicked back here at Quiver Island. Thought we had it all to ourselves, but looks like we got two loopers coming. Pull up Nebo in a second and see who they are. Everybody, I'll go ahead and do that now so they see it's me. That's not golfing. And that's first light. Two neighbors. This anchorage was well protected from tow barge waves as they passed by. Mosquitoes were bad. That was probably, I only think I've seen mosquitoes that bad once before, and that was in New Orleans. Uh, fortunately, I have that electric zapper. It's like the Harbor Freight one, but we got it on Amazon. And uh, I battled a lot, probably a hundred or more, in the, the closed up boat, even though I had screens up and everything. It was pretty rough. But we're on our way, uh, heading to Logsdon Tug Service. They have a barge to tie up um, down there. It's about, about six hours away. Yay. Have a good day. Thanks for watching episode 8 of our Great Loop journey down the inland rivers. If you like Sailor and my videos, click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Click the notification bell to be alerted when next week's videos is uploaded. See you next week in episode 9 where we continue southward on our journey down river to Beardstown where we explore the town while tied up alongside a barge at the Logsdon Tug Service. Thank you so much for watching. See you next week.